But but how did you as a business scale? Did you have to scale with human beings or did you scale systems or? That's a really good question. In fact, uh, <laughs> so when we talk about human beings, well, the first thing, I, I mean, I don't, it's probably hard to even remember now. I remember walking down the beach and getting too close to people who weren't, <laughs> even though they were wearing masks and thinking, oh, geez, why don't you just stand back? <laughs> like we were... So we had we had staff, some older staff that had been with us for a long time that just didn't want to come to work. They were worried about basically getting the thing and, and not living through it. So we actually lost staff, and then we were also very nervous about getting new people in because we don't we didn't know who they were or where they were living, and so we were only able to work with trusted uh, people. And I think that happened to a lot of businesses, but it was certainly ours. Um, in terms of scale, we're lucky enough to have a warehouse that could hold a lot of product and we were able to bring in a lot of product. We had some good intel on, um, you know, some lines of sight on, on on the stock and what was coming in, what was coming off the containers. Um, and we were just, I guess we were able to adapt. We were, we were set up well enough to be able to adapt to the supply chain problems and we had massive problems, but it, it almost worked to our advantage because we were better off than pretty much all of our competitors. So the, really the scaling um, came from just looking at our systems and what can we do uh, to like get the parcels out quicker, to be more responsive to our customers, to be, to be able to communicate better with our customers. So we did that. But in hindsight now, I think what we were developing was coping mechanisms, not like, like lockdown strategy because we were just so busy so it's only even now that we're able to take a breath that we're really going back into that strategy piece. But um, so I think we just developed coping mechanisms. We're pretty good at doing that, but we were run off our feet. Yeah. What's uh, you spoke about systems and you know scaling systems? What systems do you use in your business? So you've got obviously got something for accounting. You've got something for your mm-hmm. stock. You've got something for um, your actual distribution itself. You've got something for your transport, logistics, etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, can you run me through your, your could the, all the systems that, that you use in your business? Well, we, we have a sort of pretty uh, simple setup. So we use Neto, which is an Australian-based yep. software Neto. Yep. that uh, you'd probably be aware of. So our, our uh, website, uh, australianhomebrewing.com.au, uh, that's, uh, we've actually just given a little bit of a refresh, but that's on the Neto platform. And it's it's pretty user friendly. Our POS point of sale system uh, is within Neto itself, and all our shipping is connected to uh, like the couriers or Australia Post via via Neto. So, from the point of view of it being on a single platform, um, Neto does that back end with zero on, on mm-hmm. the accounting. But effectively, that's just bank recs and you know getting yeah, yeah. Doing, you know. Uh, profit and loss and so on but from the the daily point of view we use uh neto and it plugs into a lot of other sort of add-ons that we that we've been using uh and we've got some really and we have actually in the last couple of years uh, connected with a couple of really good partners in um like shipping and all that type of thing uh shipping uh well certainly our couriers we've got a really uh good setup with um with courier companies and we've got some great pricing. We've got good relationships. One of our guys we're very fortunate enough used to be have a courier franchise that's pretty cool. experienced in that area and that's been crucial oh, for us. It's been a cost that mm. every every person I've spoken to on this podcast has been ravaged by by costs associated mm. with with um with delivering the products that they're selling. It's been yeah. it's been amazing. You know, freight we know freight from overseas if you're bringing stuff in um, every container's triple cost triple what it used to, right. what it cost. I don't know a year ago. Um, even during COVID, it's triple from from then. So it's um, yeah, uh, having access to good careers and good systems like that is is important. Yeah.